Well, jobless claims last week were barely changed, with layoffs remaining at low levels. Wednesday also brought fresh signs of a labor slowdown with ADP's private payroll numbers. Next up, Friday's November jobs report. Did you know that recent shifts in the labor market have grabbed the focus of both economists and policymakers? These fluctuations manifest through indicators like jobless claims, ADP's private payroll data, and the forthcoming monthly jobs report. You know, if you do look at the ADP report, uh, that showed a consistent slowdown in hiring. Uh, but if you look at the details in terms of uh, sector employment, we saw trade, transportation, and utilities accounted for about half of that gain. So there, uh, you have seasonal hiring ahead of the holiday seasoning. Uh, ahead of the season um, that, that shows, indeed, consumers are still spending. This slowdown indicates a notable decrease in the speed of generating or filling new job positions. Consequently, it sparks crucial inquiries regarding its potential impacts on the Federal Reserve's policy choices. Jobless claims are like a weekly checkup on the number of individuals seeking unemployment benefits. They offer a quick glimpse into how many people are facing job losses or transitions. However, these numbers can swing up and down due to various reasons like seasonal fluctuations, economic policies, or even specific industry trends. They're like snapshots, helpful in the moment, but not always giving the full picture of the job market's health. On the flip side, ADP's private payroll numbers dig deeper into the employment trends within private businesses. This data gives us a broader perspective beyond what the government reports. It's akin to shining a spotlight on the hiring patterns and workforce changes within different industries and companies. The recent ADP report indicated a slowdown in hiring overall. On the flip side, ADP's private payroll numbers dig deeper into the employment trends within private businesses. This data gives us a broader perspective beyond what the government reports. It's akin to shining a spotlight on the hiring patterns and workforce changes within different industries and companies. The recent ADP report indicated a slowdown in hiring overall, signaling a general decrease in the growth of employment opportunities. However, beneath this overarching slowdown, there are interesting details hidden within different sectors. For instance, sectors like trade, transportation and utilities experienced a surge in hiring. This surge is often linked to seasonal jobs that pop up before the holiday season. So while there's a slowdown in the bigger employment picture, these specific sectors are contributing to job creation, with temporary roles showing a more nuanced view of the job market's dynamics. This insight suggests that although there might be an overall slowdown, it's not uniform across all sectors. Some areas are thriving, offering temporary employment options that inject vitality into the job market even during slower periods. This complexity within the job market warrants a closer look beyond the headline numbers to understand the varied patterns of employment across different sectors. The interplay between consumer spending and employment is a linchpin in understanding economic vitality. Sectors like healthcare, retail and online services continue to exhibit resilience despite the broader slowdown in the job market. These sectors act as a barometer of sustained consumer activity, indicating that people are still spending in these areas. The significance lies in the fact that consumer spending is a driving force behind job creation and economic stability. Moreover, industries directly linked to consumer demand, such as transportation, are experiencing an increase in job opportunities. This rise is a direct result of consumers actively engaging in activities that require transportation services, indicating that consumer behaviour influences employment trends. Essentially, consumer spending fuels the demand for goods and services thereby stimulating job growth in sectors catering to these demands. However, the employment landscape across sectors is far from uniform. For instance, the manufacturing sector witnessed a significant decline in the preceding month. This decline contributed to the overall slowdown in job creation, highlighting the vulnerability of certain sectors to economic shifts and challenges. Another factor impacting employment figures is strikes within various industries. Although these strikes may have concluded their effects linger in employment statistics, it's important to note that individuals participating in strikes might not be categorized as unemployed in certain employment surveys. Companies operating in these sectors are acutely aware of the value that these specialized skills bring to their businesses. Consequently, they're willing to offer competitive compensation packages to entice and retain top talent in these pivotal areas. The dichotomy within the tech industry is intriguing. While there might be overarching layoffs affecting the sector, there's a persistent hunger for individuals proficient in specialized roles like software engineering and other high-skilled positions. This indicates an imbalance in the job market, where specific skill sets are highly sought after despite broader sectoral challenges. 
Companies recognize the significance of these specialized roles in driving innovation and staying competitive in the rapidly evolving tech landscape. Hence, they continue to invest resources in attracting and retaining individuals possessing these coveted skills. This highlights the intricate interplay between broader industry trends, such as layoffs, and the perpetual demand for niche, high-value skill sets within the tech sector. Economist forecasts for the upcoming jobs report depict a nuanced view of the labor market's path. Initial estimates anticipate around 185,000 new jobs in the headline payroll. Yet these projections coincide with a potential rise in the unemployment rate, expected to be approximately 4%. These contrasting figures highlight the intricacies within the job market, prompting policymakers to scrutinize the factors causing this contrast. The expected job growth appears positive, indicating potential opportunities. However, the projected uptick in unemployment signals underlying complexities. Policymakers must dig deeper into sectoral shifts and other dynamics influencing this disparity. The juxtaposition of rising job creation and a potential unemployment increase demands comprehensive analysis. It necessitates an understanding beyond surface-level statistics to unravel the intricate web of influences shaping these divergent trends. The Federal Reserve, as the guardian of economic stability, remains steadfast in its vigilance, closely observing the ebbs and flows of labor market dynamics. While employment trends serve as a pivotal component in their decision-making process, the Fed's primary focal point revolves around managing inflationary pressures. The Fed's priority lies in navigating inflation levels to align more closely with their predefined targets. Consequently, while they acknowledge the significance of employment shifts, their response is tempered by a cautious approach that places a paramount emphasis on curbing inflationary trends. The anticipated job market figures portraying a mixed scenario of increased job creation alongside a potential risk in the employment rate implore policymakers at the Federal Reserve to conduct a comprehensive analysis. It necessitates a nuanced understanding of the underlying reasons behind these statistical projections, ranging from sectoral dynamics and wage patterns to the broader economic landscape. The Fed's stance, emphasizing the need for inflation to align with their targets, elucidates their measured approach in balancing employment considerations with inflationary control. This approach underscores their commitment to maintaining economic stability and fostering sustainable growth, ensuring a careful and calibrated response to the multifaceted challenges posed by the evolving labor market dynamics. In conclusion, the labor market slowdown encompasses multifaceted factors, each playing a pivotal role in shaping the employment landscape. While certain sectors experience growth, others face challenges, indicating a dynamic and complex job market. Understanding these intricacies is crucial for policymakers in formulating strategies that promote inclusive and sustainable economic growth. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.